Performance USA, the greatest entertainers in America, as requested by you, the fighting men of the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command Performance presented this week and every week till it's over, over there. <laughs> Greetings to the AEF and to Uncle Sam's fighting friends and the Allied Nations. It's command performance time in the USA, time for the American entertainment industry to answer those thousands of letters you write in to your big show. And here's the commanding officer of command performance tonight, a dynamic first lady of the American stage and always a leading lady when it comes to being of service to you guys in the service. Your mistress of ceremonies, Miss Tallulah Bankhead. <laughs> Thank you, Paul Douglas, and hello, fellas. Your big show is on Command Furlough from Hollywood and getting a royal welcome here in New York City. After all, Command Performance was born in New York, just like a lot of you men over there. And though many of you have a girlfriend waiting for you in towns like Grand Rapids and Peoria and Pocatello and Walla Walla, there's one girl in New York who's carrying the torch for all of you. She's the lady out there in New York Harbor, and she's proud of the way you're standing by. But this is command performance, and this is New York. And when these two get together, something big has simply got to happen. And, brother, it starts happening right now. First, for all you boys who follow the hip parade, for Billy at APO 927, and the signal gang at Corazal, and the Marines and the Solomon, your star of the hip parade sending you one dozen roses, Miss Joan Edwards. <laughs> Say my uncle left a million And half of it belongs to me Let us talk about that later It's important, but love's greater Right now I'm busy ever be I'm in an awful hurry So don't ask me now to stop I'm going to place an order in a little flower shop Give me one dozen roses Put my heart in beside them And send them to the one I love He'll be glad to receive them And I know he'll believe them That's something we've been talking of There may be orange blossoms later Kind of think that there will Cause he's done something to me And my heart won't keep still Give me one dozen roses Put my heart in beside them And send them to the one I love Thank you. And thanks to Dr. Frank Black and the musicians who give their services. Next, men, command performance gives you one of our nation's greatest inventors. The is to cross the white lie and the belly laugh to create a new trend in radio. The genius who translated alphabet soup into Arabic, Esperanto, and vegetable. A full kernel, full of nonsense. Assisted by his aide de stuff, Art Carney. Here he is, boys, the one and only Colonel Soupnagel. <laughs> Ah, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my head, Miss Bankard. Uh, of course, you know Art Kearney. I'm afraid not, Colonel. Is he your protege? Yes, uh, he's what you said. 
Uh, this boy is going to be famous, Kalula, not in years to come when he's old and shriveled, but now when he's young and shriveled. Uh, step up, Art, and say hello to Kalula. I uh, don't... Uh, come, mm. come, come, come. Uh, don't stand there Why? talking. Mumble. You see, Kalula, Art is a bashful young man. Uh, someone's at the thing, Colonel. I wonder who it is. Well, it's me trying to get in to do my impression of Captain Bob Bartlett, the well-known explorer. Oh, come in. Sure, and I come to pay you a visit, Stoopnagel. Captain Bartlett of the good ship Morrissey. Remember me in the newsreel? Why, sure. How are things, Captain? What did you say? I said, how's everything? Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Well, I didn't believe it, Colonel. There's only one way to make sure of a thing, I always say. Find out for yourself. Find out for yourself, I always tell. Say, uh... Always! Captain Barnett, oh. maybe you'd better come back here another time. Maybe you'd... Just... So I went out into the country, I did. Leaving me good ship war as he tied up to some seaweed. Far out into the country I went until I saw a big boulder way up on the top of a hill. So up the hill I went, panting and pre-firing in the sun. Turn the page. <laughs> Finally, I got up to the top of the hill, and with all my strength, I managed to push the boulder loose from its foundation. Loose from its That's what? Foundation. Oh, you should have seen it crash down the side of that hill with me chasing it. And finally it came to rest. So I examined the boulder from stern to stem, but I found no trace of a telegraph code. Not a single dot or dash. And that proved the old saying. It proved what old saying, Captain Barnett? A rolling stone gathers no more. Good day, gentlemen. Say, that guy is slightly off the proverbial beam, aren't you, Colonel? <laughs> yes, Colonel, I am, isn't he? But I'm, <laughs> I'm glad the old salt just dropped in. Uh, he reminded me that I have an amazing story to tell. A saga of the sea. Oh, comma, boy, period. A saga of the sea. Yes, and if you spell it backwards, it's a saga of the sag. Imagine, if you will, a foggy night off Cape Cod. A man in a bearded motorboat is making his way over the bounding main. In the back seat of the motorboat is his wife, Mrs. Bounding Main. The boat cuts swiftly through the water, and suddenly the fog settles down. <clears throat> Down. <laughs> and now, here is the rest of the story to tell itself. See if you can piece it together. understand it, Carney? Yes, I did, Colonel. Then I guess you weren't listening very carefully. I'll explain it to you. You see, this man planned to do away with his wife, but he made one little mistake. His wife had been shot at many times before, and she was porous. He was plastered. Now, the splash you heard, therefore, was not his wife at all, but a large catfish which had jumped out of the boat to catch a mouse fish. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yes. But how do you explain the scream? And so, Bounding Maine, the sinister oarsman from Cape Cod, is now serving a sentence of from two to not more than one year in prison, where he has been an inmate since 1905. Now, here is the warden of the prison to say a word or two regarding this desperate criminal. Go ahead, warden. Thank you. I have been the warden of this here prison for 30 years, and tonight I would like to say... <coughs> Thank you. I have been the warden of this here prison... For 30 years, and tonight, <clears throat> I would like to say, I have yes, been... Yes, yes, Warden, yes. Uh, <clears throat> what would you like to say? Uh, come back, Humphrey Bogart. We miss you. Thank you, Colonel Stupnagel and Art Connie. Well, men, you send letters from New Caledonia which say that being 9,000 miles from New York isn't quite so bad, 
when you can hear your favorite entertainers on command performance. And be it New Caledonia or Iceland or seven different kinds of Africa and India, there's a world-famous drummer that all of you know. Well, that drummer is with us tonight. And I might add, to the special pleasure of an Englishman at sunny dawn on the Bromwich Road in Worcester, England. And by command of the entire AES, it's Gene Krupa and Anita O'Day doing drum boogie. Okay, Krupp. Eugene Cooper and Anita O'Day. As they say along Park Avenue, brother, that is solid sending. Well, boys, when, when, when your big show moved into New York, a special vault was set aside in our huge post office for all the letters you've written asking Jane Froman to sing, You Go to My Head. To those of you in Hawaii and the North Atlantic and Caribbean and over there in Egypt who signed those letters, here's the answer. You Go to My Head. By Miss Jane Froman.
find you spinning round in my brain Like the bubbles in a glass of champagne You go to my head Like a sip of sparkling burgundy brew And I find the very mention of you Like the kicker in a julep or two The thrill of a thought that you might Give a thought to my plea Sends a spell over me Still I say to myself Get a hold of yourself And it never can be You go to my Like a summer with a thousand July You intoxicate my soul with your arms No, I'm certain that this thought of mine Hasn't a ghost of a chance in this crazy Jane Froman. And now for Private First Class J.H.P. at APO 34, for Private Wilson at APO 957, for K.Z. at Fort Randolph, for Basil, Max, and the boys in the vicinity of Venezuela, and for Frenchie in Libya. Command Performance presents America's great stage comedian in his famous role of the French professor. Boys, here's Willie Howard. <laughs> Yeah. My dear pupils of the radio, you know it is very easy to learn, to learn how to talk in French, providing you listen to every one of my lessons. Now if you do in a very short time, believe me, you'll be able to talk me as good as I'm talking. But to get the great, to get the greatest benefit from my lessons, you must secure <laughs> one of my textbooks entitled French in ten easy lessons or five hard ones. <laughs> you can obtain this book, mind you, free of charge, just by mere, by mere, by m excuse me, I'm very short in this country. <laughs> By merely sending in your name and address on a postal card or tear off the top of your neighborhood grocer <laughs> or any fact zemela or a stale bagel or anything you got. <laughs> oh, oh, mind you, oh, 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 this book will be sent to you up to free of shots without cost. No money to pay what you hear. There will be a sale tax charge of 94 cents. <laughs> a little charge of one dollar. 
22 cent handling in Merlin, making a total of two dollars and 16 cents. <laughs> With each book I give away free, I also give you a recipe how to clean a chicken. <laughs> so you wouldn't lose the pipic. <laughs> pipic, English translation, dessert, dessert. <laughs> Now, those desires to get a copy of my book, I have three conveniently located stores. My main store is 800 Pitkin Avenue, Brooklyn. I have another store at 800 Pitkin Avenue, Brooklyn. And for your convenience, I open a new branch at 800 Pitkin Avenue, Brooklyn. All in the same place. Now, the first situation we take up tonight in French conversation, we say you're living in Paris and the landlord comes for the money for the rent. You should tell him in French you haven't got the money with you right now, so you're talking in French like this, gay avec, gay avec. English translation means go away, go away. If you should make it more emphatic, you say to him, gay white avec, which means come to my will pay you maybe. Then perhaps you're going to say to him in French, but monsieur, I'm very sick. I must have money, must buy me the somers of a doctor, like to buy a scratch sheet. So you're talking French like this, a vous te dire a ve, a vous, a vous te dire a ve, a vous te dire a ve, a vous, a vous te dire a ve, a ve down south in the land of God. <laughs> now perhaps this time he's going to get very angry, you say, if you don't give me the money, I'm going to kick you out. I'll call a gendarme, I'll put you in the Bastille. Bastille is the word for French prison. Because it's made from the bus deal you can buy. <laughs> Forgive me. So you're talking in French like this, so brecha fous, so <laughs> Which means you'll have no kick coming. <laughs> this concludes my broad grepsing for tonight. <laughs> Gotta go back to Vichy. <laughs> Before I'm singeing off. I would like to quote, I would like to quote the saying of the great French philosopher, Marquis de la Fou de la Fée de la Conseillerie, en cas de la monde, en Dieu, puis pension, tohou, tohou, la mao, la roi, who said, what did he say? <laughs> do unto others before they do unto you. And I'm a two peoples of radio. I'm desirous to know how you're getting along with your French study song. You will please write me a letter in French. If you can't write a letter, send me a French postal card. <laughs> Who looks at the writing? <laughs> well, I guess that is all. We, oui, we, oui, I got to go now. We, oui, we. Oui. Merci beaucoup, Willie Howard. I leave some very well. <laughs> Gentlemen, command performance tonight would like to put in a short wave call to a fellow named Brain at Pearl Harbor and to the rigor runners at APO 862. We'd like to tell McDonald and the gang in Northern Ireland to be disappointed no longer because we are presenting your favorite quartet. This is great news, too, for the radio boys who wrote from Australia on July the 5th and for Corporal Needle at APO 832, who says the sweetest girl in the world lives in Philadelphia. The big news, men, is the ink spot. Come on out here, ink spot, and give out for the air. Shout! I got a gun, a gun, a gun, a gun. Oh, give me a slug from the one.
wonderful mug. I'll cut the rug, don't snug in the jug. Slice your onion in a raw one. Draw one. Wait a wait a percolator. I love coffee. I love tea. I love the jabber jabber that loves me. Coffee and tea and the jabber and me. A cup a cup a cup a cup a cup. Root Boston beans, soy beans, green beans, cabbage and greens. I'm not keen enough on a bean. I left it in the cheese soy beans. Boy. I love coffee, I love tea, I love the Jaffa Jaffa that loves me, the coffee and the tea and the Jaffa and me, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. I love Jaffa, sweet and hot, whoops, Mr. Moto, I'm a coffee and fried, shoot me the pot, turn all the pot me a shot, a cup, a cup, a cup, oh, slip me a slug from any old mug, I'll cut a rug till it's snug in the jug. Shoot the butter to me, Bessie. Don't get messy. Wait a wait a percolator. I love coffee. I love tea. I love the jam and jam and it loves me. The coffee and tea and the jam with me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. Get it a birthday, a birthday. The baba do the day, ba do the day. Shoot the juice to me loose. Cook my goose. Wait a wait a percolator. I love coffee, I love tea. I love the jam, and jam, and it loves me. A coffee and tea, and the jam with me. Yeah, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. As the Yang Fla said after that first raid over Germany, that's it for tonight. But we'll be back again. And Command Performance will be back again next week. But right now, we say thanks for the wonderful letter that invited us to your big radio party. One of these days, you'll be back here with us. And on that day, we'll throw a party from New York to San Francisco and from Key West to Seattle. But before then, we have three other parties to throw. The Nazis, the fascists, and the Japs. And after we've thrown them, buddy, we can really celebrate. This is Tallulah Bankhead in New York City, sending all our love from the USA. Command performance came to you tonight from New York City. And before returning to the old stamping ground in Hollywood, we'll drop in next week on Uncle Sam's number one city, Washington, D.C. All the stars and musicians appeared tonight in answer to requests from you men in the AEF through the courtesy of the New York War Activities Committee and local 802 American Federation of Musicians. This is Paul Douglas with a closing quotation. Send those letters to Command Performance, care of the station to which you're listening. Got that, fellas? Send your letters to Command Performance in care of the station to which you're listening. And rain or shine, we'll answer them. And rain or shine over there, buddy. Pour it on, buddy. Pour it on. So long from the USA. Thank you.